Okay, so today we are starting up a Montreal Canadiens franchise mode here on NHL 21. I know I've been getting asked quite a lot actually to do a franchise mode. So here it is. We got the Canadiens. I've decided to pick this team. I don't really know why actually. I'm not fully sure. Mostly because they're in sort of a unique predicament, I suppose. And, you know, they... um. They just made an interesting trade, to say the least. They got rid of Max Domi for Josh Anderson and then signed Josh Anderson to a massive contract. So we'll see how that goes. I am going to get to the editing lines thing for, I guess, episode number one here. So I'm going to auto-generate the protection list because I can't be bothered to do that. And I don't think we will get a high pick here. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. I don't remember where they finished, honestly. And yeah, so I'm going to sim to the expansion draft and I didn't even see who they took But honestly, it wasn't a name that really jumped out to me. So I'm not too scared um, I'm going to go ahead and Advance to the actual draft. I'm not going to do draft interviews. I just can't be bothered, but Let's see what happens here. Uh, I know. Okay. I will say I know I was doing a Seattle Kraken franchise mode but we are kind of too far into that one for me to actually upload it to this channel. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to start this new one here. I think the Seattle Kraken one is kind of going to be, I, I don't know, kind of just dumped, honestly. <laughs> I, I sort of lost motivation. Wasn't streaming for a while, but now I'm back here. And I want to try out this new layout in this new format for a GM mode to live stream. So yeah, we're going to be doing it. But anyway... Let's sim to our pick, pick 17, then we'll backtrack a little bit here to see what happened. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got Hillis, 80 overall, was drafted by the Detroit Red Wings, medium elite. Chorney, 80. Blair, okay. Lutz, uh, Kibbersoft, Arneson. Okay, well, let's go to our pick, and hopefully we can get something at least medium top six or a medium top four defenseman. So, oh, I am going to be honest, I don't even know what that flag is i think it's ukraine perhaps <laughs> could be horribly wrong and i apologize for that uh thank you by the way for the the layout i appreciate that um so yeah i don't know if we should take this nestrov guy he has there's no stats on him whatsoever bets is there going to be no stats on any of these guys because it's the initial draft here oh yeah okay so we basically just have nothing to go off of other than our you know <laughs> our scout which Basically broken. So, yeah, I know it's it's Russia in the upper left, but I think beside the actual player, it's Ukraine. So, uh, let's let's draft Nesterov here and just see how it works out. Medium top four defenseman, 64 overall. That's not bad. Okay, and let's go ahead and sim to our next pick, which will be round two here. We get back-to-back -back picks, actually, which is kind of nice. 17 and 18. Let's keep it going. And we... Ooh, okay. Pierre Oliver Waugh. Now, I know because we are Montreal, uh, unless it's Roy, <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know what? He's playing in the in the queue, so I think, uh, hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, well, I guess both of these guys, no, okay, well, he's not playing in the, oh, he is playing in the queue, actually, so they're both French, so that's probably why Scouch, <laughs> Scouch, I can't even talk, that's why the Scout's recommending them. Anyway, uh, this guy's 49th, Scout rank 52. This guy has the previous rank of 50, now at 49. So maybe we'll go with Charlie here. Good old Charlie. Sure, why not? Let's try him on for size. Charlie, what are you going to get me? Medium top six defenseman. That's not too bad. And maybe we'll take the the Wa. I'm assuming it's Wa. I don't know. It could be Roy, but, you know, he's from QMJHL. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume it's Wa. Anyway, let's go with P. Wa. We're drafting Patrick Wa here. V2, except he's not a goalie. Medium bottom six. Hate to see it. That's very unfortunate. Okay, well, let's send to our next pick. Pick number 59. <laughs> the bunny man has returned. Okay, so yeah, let's go into the... the look at goalie price. Okay, yeah, I, I do want to look at some goalies. I know you can get some steals here, and actually, Nick Malik is right at the top. I might have to take him. He's scout rank 51. Man, I don't like that we have no stats to go off of. That's very unfortunate. Strength of competition, A+. Plus. Yeah, maybe... Let's go with... Let's go with Malik, sure. Why not? Make pick. Fire me vertical. Uh, a medium top nine 
Or sorry, no, I was looking at the previous. I was like, what? We drafted a goalie. I was so confused. Medium starter, 59 overall. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, medium starter is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not franchise, obviously, but it's also not elite. Still good, though. I'd say that's probably equivalent to like a medium top six or something along those lines. So let's him to our next pick. He could turn out, you know, with some development going on. Hello, Flo. Uh, we've got Leighton Moore playing in the OHL right now. This potential is clearly just out of whack. Does not make any... It's not accurate at all. Uh, we got Lane. Hmm. Okay. Got... Uh, okay, that, that one stumps me. I don't know what that flag is either, honestly. But, um... Let's go with, let's go with more. Sure, he's just at the top here. We have really nothing to go off of, which I, I know I keep saying that, but it just makes it so much more difficult because it's basically just a guess at this point. And this will be the first one. Yes, uh, this will be the first season. We're just getting started here. And I also wish you guys a happy new year as well. Thank you very much for that, Flinko. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, so yeah, should we go with, oh, we have to take Goche, right? got to be in the, oh i thought he'd be in the qmjhl goche just kind of seems like a a french name uh there's also ola nyquist playing for frolunda uh let's go do i take another goalie or do i take a gamble i'll take a goalie i feel like goalies you can get steals kind of late how are you today bergy okay so we're only round four you know what i almost want to just simulate this whole <laughs> this whole draft because i I don't know. Okay, I saw someone in the chat say you should take Hudobin. He's right at the top there. So let's take the Ukrainian Hudobin. A uh, medium fringe starter. Not bad, actually. That's not bad. Okay, so let's sim to our next pick. Number five. And see what we can get here. Uh, I, I really don't know what to go off of. Because there's just nothing, you know? Uh, I, I don't think... I think the scout's screwing me on this one. That's just my feeling. I'm going to go with this young lad right here because he started at 146 and moved up to 137, so he must be doing something right. Let's take him. Probably going to be like low top nine. Okay, medium bottom six. That's that's not good. You hate to see that. Sim to pick round number six. We're not going to get anything good this late in the draft anyway. I don't think it's usually pretty difficult. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically just going to go with the scout recommended at this point. Well, you know what? Let's let's sort by potential and just see what we can find here. Maybe we'll get some kind of steal somehow. Alexander David. Mm, unlikely, but why not? Sure, let's go. And we get medium bottom six. Okay. Johnny Boyo, welcome. Sim to next pick. Round seven. Seattle Crack and right beside us. That's our former team. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know. I'll just sort by potential again and just see what happens. We've got uh, Sarno. Evan Sarno playing for the Pelicans. I think I have to take him just because I love that Pelicans logo. And their jerseys are nasty. He's also a grinder, so, you know, could work out. Medium bottom six. Oh, never mind. I guess I read that wrong. He's a power forward. Whatever. I think we're done for this draft. Yeah, so Sim entire draft. And let's go into... The contract phase now. Sim to the resign phase. Yes, please. Not used to talking this much this consistently. Um, okay, so I guess I'll just answer that question again. So basically for the face cam, I, in my opinion, I kind of find that a face cam almost takes away from a franchise mode. I know some people can pull it off. I, For me, I don't want to do the face cam with franchise mode. So for this one and this stream, uh, I'm just going to be doing this uh this layout that i have here now so i can kind of have you know the twitch chat you guys contributing and then have the video there and then just my dumb voice over all of it so yeah let's go to contracts and see what we can do here so we've got gallagher running up we've got petrie running up we've got tatar oh dunno yeah because i added the contract here i feel like you have to do that in the expansion drafts otherwise it's weird but um I'm trying to see if we need to sign anyone. We might actually not even need to. Oh, we got Charles Houdon. I believe it's Charles, right? Um, should we offer Charles a contract? Maybe. Yo, Jimmy, what's going on? Caulfield? Oh, what the? Okay, absolutely. What? I, okay, I guess because he's not actually in the game, I had to create him. That kind of makes sense. 
Uh, thanks a lot, Jimmy, for the bits. I'm going to offer him a... I believe that's max, right? Yeah, 925 entry level. So there we go. Let's add him in there. Uh, how much cap space do we have? 1.7. Oh boy, I did not see that. Okay, that's not good. That is really not good. So we've got some work to do. Also, guys, um, like I said, I will be posting this on YouTube. So I'm kind of going to be interactive with the Twitch chat. But I'm also going to be looking at recommendations and stuff on the YouTube comments as well. So, yeah, just, just so you guys know. Uh, Kimber, Bergy, it was good. Thanks. How was yours? And yeah, Happy New Year is right. I. It's going to be a weird one. It's going to be a weird one, that's for sure. With everything going on in the world right now. With, you know, the whole lockdown and everything. I don't know if it's the same where you guys are, but for us, it's... Yeah, we're like in a full lockdown now, basically. So, it's essential only. And we've got Malik here. 59. I'm not going to sign him. We'll leave him playing wherever for now. Mini clips. Hello, how are you doing? Okay. So, I think we're good here. I do, do I want to sign? What do, what do you want? What kind of contract do you want? Oh, he wants a two-way. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll give you that for sure. Yeah, okay. I'm going to now simulate. Hope, I'm assuming we're going to get them, right? They're not going to... I'm going to turn that down. Okay. I'm really not interested in a two... Coal? What do you mean? I can't give you anything else. I literally cannot give you anything else. I just put you on this team as a... Oh, you've got to be joking. I swear I gave him a contract, too. Am I going to have to restart? <laughs> There's no way. I can't even offer you. I have to give you it. Okay, let's try that. Just what's whatever's on the board there. I can't even do that, obviously. We're kind of breaking the rules here. It's supposed to be an entry-level contract. But... Okay, whatever. I guess we kind of broke the rules, but... Had to do what we had to do, I guess. So let's sim to free agency. Not too concerned about... Um, Hudon. But... Yeah, let's just see what's in free agency. It's not like we're going to be able to sign anything anyway. And we should make some trades most likely. But yeah, we only have $1.4 million of cap space. Here is free agency right now. Obviously, we don't need a goalie. We've got carry price. So that's that's covered. And if I wanted to sort by uh, unrestricted free agents. So here we have it. Yeah, there's, there's a few good players here. Uh, do we want to try getting someone $8 million for Hoffman? Oh boy. No, I'm not, I'm not down for that. Hell no. What about Bufflin? We've got 87 overall. Uh, we just don't have the cap space. Yeah, we just don't have it right now. So we got to try and free up some of that maybe. And I'm also excited for Team Canada today, Jimmy. Can't wait. The World Juniors has been awesome so far. I'm so happy, to, so happy that Germany was able to qualify. So... I think we're just going to kind of skip past this free agency for now. I I do want to get to next year and then we're going to... Obviously, this one's kind of weird because we started with the expansion team. So, I'm not too... This is my first time actually kind of doing one on YouTube, I think, with adding an expansion team. So, normally it starts at the season beginning. And... Yeah, this time we're going to be starting in the offseason because we had to do the expansion draft, obviously. But... We are going to simulate up to the season now. Uh, Shoots, Happy New Year. What's going on? Thank you very much. I just called you Shoots. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought, for some reason, I thought your name was Shots, and I almost butchered that. But no, <laughs> it is Shoots. I, yeah, I thought I butchered it, but I actually got it right. I'm just so scared now because of the amount of times I have, in fact, screwed your, <laughs> screwed your name up. <laughs> but, okay. So, head coach... So I know this is another thing that I know people might not agree with, but I'm going to leave injuries on because I believe it makes it more realistic and that way you need to have depth. Sure, it will kind of screw up your lines a bit, but I think that's just something that... Yeah, this this contract right here is a rough go. 5.47 years and we've got, yeah, an 80 overall player <laughs> who's also 26. Yeah, I almost slipped again. I almost said shots again. You would have had to have uh, boycotted the stream. All right, we've got this on defense. That's that's not that's not great. Oh boy. Okay. Well, it is what it is. And then net, we've got carry price. Allen, what's Allen's contract? Oh, ugh. I guess it's only one year, so we're not in too rough of shape there. Philippe Dano, 27 years of age, 84 overall. 
I feel like I screwed up my words there. 84 of overall or something did I say? I don't know. I could just be in my own head, but I feel like that happens a lot when I'm making these videos. Every time I say something, I always think it's coming out wrong. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we want to try making a push year one, and I don't think this team will be able to do it as is. I mean, uh, knowing the EA simulation engine, you never know, I guess. It could be possible. We do got Nick Suzuki, though, which is huge. 83 overall. And... Yeah, he's only he's only 21. He's also got four-star puck skills already. And he's got four-star skating, four-star shooting. Physical, not the best. Don't need him for that. He needs to put in goals. And his shot is not bad. So, yeah, that, that's that's great. What's his potential again? Is it uh, like medium top six? Medium top six. Yep. Okay, there it is. Nice. And then Toffoli on the wing there. I believe he just signed a contract with them too. Four by four, essentially. Okay, so we see some saying sell at deadline and stuff for the deadline, but I'm also going to be interested to see what the YouTube comments say as well about what we should do with this team. I'm not actually going to get the simulation started yet. This is just kind of going to be a roster overview sort of video where we're just going to look at the team, see what we have, and then we'll obviously, yeah, get started with some recommendations and everything like that and then in the next stream we will go ahead and do that so yeah i hope our team can turn out all right I, I don't know man it's so tough i don't know if we can make the playoffs with this team if there's any like moves we could make it's gonna be like this contract is untradeable no one's gonna take that unless we eat up a lot of it and it's over seven years so that'd be rough uh i'm not sure shoots but if not it's okay no worries I don't know why it wouldn't be working, but if it's if it's not, then yeah, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we are going to look at our AHL team, I suppose. All right, shoots. You want to get timed out? Even though I actually should probably turn those off for this, those redemptions. But anyway, I'll, I'll do it anyway. I think I timed you out. Did I not? Oh, I think I double-clicked it. Well, maybe you're timed out for 1,200 seconds now. Anyway, Caulfield in the AHL, don't think... We're really allowed to do that, but again, he's not actually in the game, so I kind of just had to improvise. We were only able to sign him to a one year because the game kind of screwed me there, but it is what it is. Uh, I remember this guy. He used to be like three and a half green stars in NHL, maybe 14, 13, something like that, and he used to turn out pretty good. But, uh, oh, Jimmy, you did too? Oh, you also timed him out. I see. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Um, Yeah, I'm not too sure what we should do here. I think our AHL team looks okay. Like, they can probably do pretty good. I might pick up some players for Caulfield to play with. Just so he can really, really grow. We do need another AHL defender there, clearly. How's our goaltending? Oh, okay. We're mint for goaltending. We also got Caden Primo here. Medium starter potential. 79 overall. And also, I guess I should just real quick. Also, um, Brayden, thanks for the follow. Anon, thanks for the follow. Um, Free King Flyer, thanks for the follow. Grizzly Bear, thanks for the follow. And that's a tough one. FV Fufin. Fufin. <laughs> 3445. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, this is this is our AHL lineup. I'm gonna go sign a new defenseman. And maybe I'll sign like a, a fourth line here as well. Or just get some decent players, because I want our AHL team to do good. It's very important that the AHL team does well, especially when you have players with high potential so let's see what we can find here i think you can sort by two ways right yeah you can sign by or sort by two ways okay let's see what we can get here so i said i wanted a defenseman so looks like you are the first one we've come across sure nice to have you on board and i did want to get some okay this is definitely not sorted by overall so there's probably way better options oh you hate to see it you really do whatever it is what it is <laughs> you'll you'll get the job done still um, so I want to sign some players. I'm definitely, uh, I don't want to make them better because I know that I'm going to have injuries on and stuff. So I don't want to boot Caulfield off the first line by any means. So I'm going to try to not insanely stack it, if that makes sense. Like I'll try to get some 74 overall players here, but you know, good enough that the team should still float on. So let's, uh, try to grab Sakura here. Maybe actually I won't even get a right winger. Because I think that, that should be fine if we just get um, 
a left winger and a center, I suppose. Hello, Nazim. How are you today? I don't really know how... Oh, I guess Nightbot does appear in the chat. Interesting. I didn't know that. Cool. Get Roman Polak. <laughs> no chance. Absolutely not. Okay, so we got a center slash left winger. You can play center, I guess. And sure, this guy's got a cool name. So you can play left wing for the HL. I really hope they accept these contracts. Not, oh, I was looking for a one year. I'd be so pissed. I'd be pissed. All right, anyway. Grind line on the HL team. Yeah, definitely. So... Let's go advance a day here. Hope that everyone signs. Again, I am leaving injuries on, as I mentioned. And I, for some reason, feel like I don't get notifications when... Okay. So I guess I am now. But in my other on my other account, I suppose, I believe the signing is good for myself and the franchise. Well then. Someone's a little confident. Let's go and edit the lines here again. And... Caulfield better still be on the first line, that's all I'm saying. Okay, why is he why do he go down to a zero? What if I move up Laurent? No, it doesn't work. Uh okay, that's a plus one, so let's do that. Jake Evans. That move makes that a plus one. What's Lawrence's potential? Medium top nine. Jake Evans has medium top nine as well. He's 24. Uh Dauphin is 25. So I'll leave that as is for now then. Okay, our HL team should be alright. Yeah, we got a new defenseman there. Where's all that? Damn chemistry. Okay, that works. We'll just do that, I guess. Oh, that plus three would have been nice. Whatever. We'll go plus one, plus one, zero. And then in net, we've got Charlie Lindgren and Caden Primo. So, yeah, this is the team for the AHL. This is the team for the NHL. I'm going to go look at our contracts, too, just to see. I want to show you guys everything. You know, I want to get as many recommendations as possible, and I want your guys' feedbacks on everything the whole nine yards so if we sort by our contracts here who's making a lot of money that shouldn't be besides <laughs> anderson okay so that's justified at 85 that's justified uh justified man we have a lot of contracts to sign coming up that's not going to be good i should start offering contract extensions now like what does tatar want 5.9 oh boy oh no what does galley want we're screwed. We are screwed. <laughs> we are not in a good spot right now. Philippe Dano as well. He's going to want a lot more than 2.9. Oh, yeah. We are all kinds of screwed. Yoel Armia doesn't even want to sign. Guys, like, screw your franchise right now. Uh-oh. We could be in trouble here, guys. Yo, Adam. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Means a lot. All right. Um, yeah, so we've got... Paling here, who also, he should have some potential, right? I remember that big four goal showing from him. Low top six, never mind. I guess it was like a one and done kind of thing. Okay, well, here's our big contracts, guys. I don't think we should have any in the system. No, not really. So main roster, got a bunch of unnecessarily large contracts that need to be sorted out because all these are expiring. So I want you guys to also in the YouTube comments and on Twitch too here to let me know if you guys think we should be a buyer and try to make it year one or if we should be a seller and kind of go into sort of an immediate rebuild and yeah try to try to go for the future no worries adam thanks for coming out and thank you so much for the subscription means a lot okay so yeah i'm just gonna sim up to the regular season now and i think there's not a whole lot else I want to do here for this one. This is sort of just like a, a primary setup, and I wanted to test the overlay, see how everything's working. And I probably should have... Well, no, I guess not. I was going to say, I should have should have rearranged the the um, the divisions, so the Canadian division and everything. But yeah, I also added Seattle, which is not a team yet, and it won't be like that forever. So, yo, <laughs> I'm trying... I can't read your name in orange. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on, actually. Because I don't have a face cam, I could probably put them on because it's not going to glare. So let me let me try to read that real quick. Vezi. Vezi Kuka. I probably butchered that so bad. But either way, thank you for coming out. Um, Alright, so let's sim to the regular season. I don't think we have much else to do here. I'm going to answer the face cam question one last time here just so everyone knows. Yeah, I want to try using this layout, and in my personal experience or my opinion, I don't like having a face cam with 
uh, franchise mode. I think it kind of takes away from it. So I'm going to try to just use this layout, have the Twitch chat, and then, yeah, so people can, you know, also get um, get on the YouTube channel as well if you come to the Twitch chat. So, yeah, this is our team. I do want to know from you guys whether you think we should be a buyer or a seller in year one. I already saw one saying to sell, and I think that we probably would be better off selling, but I want your guys' opinions anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's basically going to do it for episode number one here, the initial setup uh, of the Montreal Canadiens. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments and, yeah, on Twitch if... We should, uh, I don't know if we could make a push, even if, even if the comments do say try to make a push, I don't know if we could, but it's, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, let me know guys. And, uh, thanks for watching.